obviously we're, we're happy with the outcome, but we're not happy with the uh, performance. We know that we expect better from ourselves. I think we started the game very slowly and we gifted them their first goal. And you can't do that against what I consider to be arguably the best team in the league. So, you know, we, we definitely grew into the game and we evolved a slight bit, but we have to stop starting a game slowly like that against these top level teams. Ultimately, the, the character and the ability did shine through towards the end, but we have to do it over 90 minutes rather than over 45. Yeah, I mean, the result is great. I mean, to get a point against a team who's probably one of the best teams in the league, is it says a lot, and to come from behind, again, it says a lot, but we got to stop, stop putting ourselves in these 2-0 holes. Um, it's never a good feeling, and that'll definitely wear on us by the end of the season, so we gotta we got to pick it up. Um, well, you know, we started off the game pretty slow. Honestly, that's, I think, the word we're going to use is slow. Uh, we weren't quick on our, our thoughts on the ball. We weren't quick on our turns. We didn't use our outlets. But at the same time, we showed our ability to come back and use the time of the game to really show what we have. Um, we really let the team drive us because at halftime, we were all pretty upset with ourselves. And, you know, we knew we could do better. But coming out in the second half, we band together and just came out and showed them what we got. So I think some of the things that we need to do to improve is really just fine-tune um, our preparation. You know, it's uh, it's tough playing against such an organized, structured team like this, but when we have our opportunities, we definitely need to take them. The, the real positive we'll take from this is that on a day where we didn't play very well, we still snuck away with a point against the top-level team. So that's a positive, and we know that we'll score goals. Yeah, I think it just took us a second in the first half to adjust to their defensive style um, and trying to break them down offensively. But once we did, I think the last 15 minutes of the first half or so, we started to kind of get in our groove, um, understand where we could find pockets and how we needed to move the ball. Um, and then that kind of just flowed into the second half. I think it was our ability to use their width. They were playing pretty narrow, and I think that uh, we totally – use the outside of the field to come back in and we put more players forward. We realized that they really weren't threatening us too hard in the back and we could trust our back line to stay with them and you know run them wide and keep us from getting the team back and behind the ball in time. So I think we just came together a little bit more because we were playing a little too individually in the first half and used the things that they were giving us. Honestly we used everything they gave us. Yeah we got to watch film you know we got to break down those goals and make sure they don't happen again. Um, and kind of just move on to the next team and leave this behind us. I think sometimes we get stuck in um, the way we were playing against the previous team um, coming into the next game. So just kind of getting that out of our system and coming in fresh to every single game um, is going to be very important next week in Seattle. I think just the, the backup for each other, you know, it, I, they, I did have a few saves to make, but I knew that my defense was behind me if I had to let a rebound or deflect any direction. So it's just using that thought and bringing it into the next game, making sure that we're having each other's backs. You know, shots are going to come. That's just how the game works. But it's making sure that when the shots do come that we have each other's backs. I have their back so I can save the shots and they can make the blocks. You know, we got to keep moving the ball one-two touch through the midfield and um, pushing our lines forward, making sure, you know, we're getting into the, into the box for our crosses and just being patient. Uh, final third stuff, just being patient and um, trusting in each other and each other's ability. And just like that, I, I knew if I put that ball up there anywhere for Sam, she would probably get on it. So um, trusting each other and uh, just showing up and giving our best every game. One of the biggest contributing factors to our turnaround was really just a, a step up in our own performances. We, we trusted our own ability, we trusted ourselves to, to manipulate the ball across the field and, and expose some of their weaknesses. And then we allowed that to match our character and ultimately you know, snuck that goal in the back of the net in the, the 90th minute. So I'm delighted with the application of the players and uh, the great thing is we know that we can improve our performance and keep moving forward.